Good morning, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1114 Northeast 70th Avenue here in Portland. Located down in the basement, we've got a four inch cast iron clean out. We're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do have water currently running and we'll zero out the base of the uh, clean out here. Off we go. Coming to watch the show, my friend? Yeah. We transitioned a moment ago under the, some of that standing water there to ABS plastic. Line transitions here to six inch concrete. And we've reached the main here at 66 feet, 6 inches, look at that. We're going to go uh, locate the camera head real quick while the line drains out. And we're just going to pull back to the transition here while the line drains out. That'll tell us what street the line's going to and if the <clears throat> update was taken all the way to the street edge or not. All right, so I just did a locate here. The line does go out to Northeast 70th. Where I picked the locate up right where my camera is parked right now is about, the locate's coming in probably about six inches or so from the side of the curb that faces out to the street. Though it's possible that a little bit of that concrete may still technically be on property. As it sits right now, none of it is, at least that first foot or so is not repair worthy. Anyhow, but you know, it, it may just be the way that the locate's coming in. It's so dang close, it looks like they took it to the street edge. But it's when it's when you're talking just a few inches like that, it's hard to verify with just simply locating it. It's just so dang close. So for all intents and purposes, it looks like the repair was taken all the way out to the end of homeowner responsibility, as best as I can tell. But the way that locate came in there, it's feasible that maybe six to eight inches of that concrete pipe there may technically still be within homeowner responsibility. We'll come back here and see how the standing water looks. You have some minor standing water right here in the ABS. It looks like this is, I think, right about where the camera popped out of the belly earlier. So it dissipates off here at about 20, about 24 feet.
And this right here is about, we're at around a quarter inch of water. And where I generally, where I start to consider repairs is once there's around an inch of water, but I've got to see build up on top of that that shows me it's actually causing flow problems. So far here, the water we're seeing in the flow line is, is around a sixteenth of an inch, which is extremely minor. And it's not to say it couldn't feasibly cause a problem, um, it, but if you're, if you're blocking and backing up out of water that minor, it's almost entirely because of what you put down the sewer line. The belly has very, had very little to do with that if you're blocking up in a sixteenth of an inch of standing water. By and large, that amount of water there might as well not even be there when it comes to functionality. So. As long as you're not putting paper towels and junk like that down the line, the standing water here is extremely unlikely to ever cause an issue. And you can see how clean it is in here. There is not a scrap of buildup anywhere in the line. Certainly no evidence of partial blockages or full blockages, anything of the sort. The line is super clean. Uh, we have good flow of the main lateral connection, most importantly to the street. All the cast iron and ABS pipe on property here. Again, there is a possibility a little tiny bit of that concrete may still be on property. It's really hard to tell with as close as it is there, uh, but for all intents and purposes, everything on property here appears to be in good shape, has good flow, and functioning properly at this time.